all the Christianity doctrine. Who taught us that? Who taught them? Who taught them guys to find the Christ? He's talking about the white man. Read it again. You don't know Christ, brother. You don't know Christ. See, beware. Who spoils this Negro right here? The white man. Read. Through philosophy. It's philosophy he's coming with. And another little man in the back. Read. And vain deceit. What is this thing? Lies. Vain lies. Read. Who taught them? After the tradition of men. The white man taught our people out. That's what they're coming with. No, but don't think like this, lad. Nobody sees Jesus Christ. Everybody sees nobody. This is Negro. That's what they're coming with. To keep us from the bottom. But the day is over. The mind of the slave is finished. But this shall be. But this water's coming up now. Shall be what? Shall be with burning and fuels of fire. That's plain. But this war is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. Meaning nuclear destruction. Y'all know who y'all are according to the Bible. Who are you? A child of God. A child of God? Okay. But do you know your nationality? What's your nationality? What's your nationality according to the Bible? Alright. We're Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Do you see yourself on this sign right here? This is what God calls us and this is what our slave master calls us. Where out, do you huh? see yourself at on this sign? Judah. You Judah? Yeah. Okay. All praise to the Most High. What about you, bro? I'm Bitcoin. You what? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I like numbers. I believe in the numbers. No, I'm talking about on here. Oh, on there. Yeah, know. on here. What would you be on there? You Judah. You Judah. 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 black. Who okay. High, who has the highest form of mathematics? I don't know. I'm saying. You I'm Judah. Judah. All right, look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finna show y'all something. Give me Deuteronomy uh -huh. one and one. Bring it out, huh? Cause see, we Israelites according to the Bible. This is what they not gonna tell us. They not gonna tell you that you the chosen people according to God. They ain't gonna tell you this in church. You see what I'm saying? This is the greatest knowledge you ever gonna get. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who is Moses talking to? You're talking to us. Who, who is us? Israel. Israel. Right? We're Israelites. All right, now give me, uh, you already know what I want. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Watch this. I'm finna show y'all how you know this Bible talking about this. Hold on, y'all. Don't leave. Don't leave just yet. We're in the mercy. Y'all in the mercy? Yeah, I had, I had a mercy when I came over here. I just had to come over here and check you out, bro. Man, just check this out for a second. Let me Go give ahead. you a couple scriptures, man. Go ahead. Hear up. Hear up. Give, give me Deuteronomy 28 15. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, God said, if y'all will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, this is what's going to happen. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Look, it said all these curses was going to come upon you and overtake you. See, man, y'all walking away from the greatest knowledge that y'all going to get, bro. Bitcoin. Right. Bitcoin. All right. Bitcoin. All right. Bro, Bitcoins ain't going to save you, bro. But I'll pray to the most high. Finish reading. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse shall thou be in the city. It says, curse shall we be in the city. If you look around, this is a curse. Damn, grass and stuff growing all wild. We got glass on the streets. We got potholes everywhere. Right. You see what I'm saying? This ain't beautiful living. This ain't lavish living. When you go to the white man neighborhood, they live in luxury. Right. They live in good. You can look at they streets, they new, they paved. Our streets, look, streets been like that for 20 damn years. You see what I'm saying? This is a curse. Breathe. A curse shall thou be in the field. And it says, curse shall you be in the field. What was the only people in the world that was in cotton fields picking cotton? Bring it out, Doc. The black man, the so-called black man. We was the only people cursed in the fields. But it's not only talking about the fields, it's talking about your field of work. Because guess what? When you go to work, yeah, you get paid. But do you get paid with the white man getting paid? No. You see what I'm saying? You can be there for 20 years. He come in, he get a raise before you get a raise. Right. That's cursed in the field. Right. Read. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. It says, cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Because guess what? You ain't eating like you used to eat. 
You're not eating how you used to eat. You used to be able to go in the store and get a basket full of stuff for cheap. Now, you go in the store, you spend a damn $120 and only get three items. Right. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, come, come here, let me talk to you for a minute. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? You do? Who are you according to the Bible? The Israelites, we those people that was captive, number one, but we were God's chosen people. Right, okay. Okay, so you know a little something, something. So, so now, are you keeping the commandments? So you know you're an Israelite. Are you keeping the commandments? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What's required of you now that you know you're an Israelite? I know one thing. I don't eat no pork. Okay. I don't eat pork. I don't, uh, I don't drink. You don't drink? Mm -hmm. You can drink. You just can't be a drunk. That's right. it. Because you know, what was Christ's first miracle? So right, so you can drink, you just can't be a drunk. But watch this. So you say you know you're Israel, right? Alright. Alright, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So you said you're Israel. God is saying now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of you? What does he require of you? Follow his command. Okay, read. But to fear the Lord thy God. How do you fear God? Well, I I know. One thing, uh, get outside the law, God. Thing, you are open to the enemy, and I'm not trying to be open to that. That's why I pray daily. Right. I'm gonna show you what the fear is. I'm gonna show you what the fear is. Read that. Psalm chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. God said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Do that. So once you fear God, you be like, damn, I'm not keeping the commandments. I need to get right. That's when he's going to open up this Bible to you. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. So that's right. what the fear is. Read. A good understanding have all day that do his commandments. So once you start fearing the Lord, you're going to get a good understanding. Right. And right. you're going to be able to read certain things in this Bible. And it's going to make sense to you now because right. you're keeping his commandments. So go back to uh, go back to uh, what you had. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel... What did the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. It says to walk in all his ways, meaning all his commandments. Read. And to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now, how do you love God? I love him with my soul. You I, love him with I, your soul? I have made it through this stroke. I had a stroke five years ago. Praying fast. John 5 and 3. So... You love them with your soul. Yeah, I love them with all my heart. Now we finna give you the exact definition of love according to the Bible. Okay. Now yeah. once we give you this exact definition, this is how you gotta love them. Cause you can't love them with your soul. Right. This is how you love them. Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. Now this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. So that's how you love God. You got to keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous, meaning his commandments ain't hard. So you said you're keeping one of the commandments, which is not eating pork. Okay. Now, do you know there's plenty of other commandments that you could be keeping? Yes. What is that? I don't, I don't know them all. Okay. I'm going to give you some. Okay, come on. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Bring it out. I'm going to give you this one because this is one. This is simple. This is easy. So I'm saying, if you really love him, you're going to humble down and you're going to do what he say. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So we shouldn't make baldness upon their head. You're not, you're not breaking that law. You got here. Okay. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Okay. So it says, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beards. Now. Are you shaving off the corners of your beard? Yeah. See? Look, you can't do that no more. Like me. I can't really grow nothing, but what I got, I'm letting it grow. You see what I'm saying? What I, that's, that's a small commandment, but it's still a commandment. You see what I'm saying? So are you willing to do that? No problem. Okay. I'll praise to the most high. I'll praise. Now, give me numbers 15 and 38. Because this is another commandment. T-Jock. You see, you see uh, these things on our shirt? You might think we're just doing that for a fashion trend like it look good. Which it does look good to me personally. But 
the reason why it's on my shirt mainly is because the Most High God told me to wear it. That's right. And we finna get that for you. Read. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So it says speak unto the children of Israel. You already know you are Israelite. And it says bid them, meaning command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. Right. Meaning at the end of your garment. Read. Throughout their generations. Throughout your generations. Aren't we still generating today? Yeah. Right. Don't you got a daughter or a son? I got sons. I got grandkids. Right. Don't they got kids and stuff like that? Yeah. So you, it starts with you, then your kids, and then your kids' kids. Everybody has to win. Right. Read. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And that you put upon the fringe, the borders, a ribbon of blue. Everybody out here got that same thing. You see what I'm saying? Right. This is how we show God that we love him. Right. Is that it on that? What's that? Oh, yeah, right, right. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So why do we have these on our shirt? Right. But I'm saying, why do we put them on our shirt, though? We need to show. Read it again. Uh, read it again one more time. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Okay. It's for so we can look upon it and remember to do the commandment. Right. Right. Yeah. So guess what? When I see Big Booty Keisha walking by and my mind get to wandering off into crazy thoughts, I can look at it like, nah, I can't do that. You right. see what I'm saying? Right on, right on. That's what it's for. That's it. That's it. So that's one, that's another commandment. Now, so I'm going to keep giving you some more commandments, bro, because guess what? I love you, bro. So I'm saying I ain't out here just for fun and games. Me and my brothers ain't out here just for fun and games. This is serious. But look, how can I reach you all? Is it on the fountain there? Yeah, it's on the fly. I'm going to get with you. I got to meet somebody right now. But I will be. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, give me that. Three and two. Because you know that's a commandment, right? I'm going to read that for you real quick. Just a couple more, then we're going to go. Bring it out, all right? I mean, there you go. Read. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. So today is a holy convocation. A holy convocation is a large gathering. Read. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of, the, of rest and holy convocation. So we rested. After we leave here, guess what? We're going to go to our school and we're going to have a gathering. We're going to have a holy convocation. And we're going to study the word more in depth at the school. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because out here, this is just to get you to come in. Now, once we go to the school, that's where you actually going to learn. You see what I'm saying? That's where you actually going to learn. But, uh, matter of fact, give me uh, Nehemiah 10 and 31. Right. Because, like I said, you bought air, right? You ain't supposed to be buying on the Sabbath. You see what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be buying on the Sabbath, bro. And because I love you, this is my job to give you this so God don't come back and kill you. Wow. You see what I'm saying? The church will tell you, oh, God is love. Oh, just just do what you want and everything's okay. No, everything's oh. not going to be okay. Everything's not going to be okay, man. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring well or any victuals on the Sabbath day. So they say if the people of the land bring well. Or any victuals, meaning clothing or any type of food. If they bring this on the Sabbath day, read. To sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So guess what? If they bring anything to buy and sell on the Sabbath, we would not buy it from them. So just how you got air, you're not supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. You were supposed to get that yesterday. You see what I'm saying? Before the sun went down. See, that's, that's basic commandments that we don't know. And that's what we must learn Break to get out. out of this captivity. Little things, right? Huh? Little thing that hurts. Right, right. It's the little things that hurt. Yeah. Because this, do you know how to get the kingdom of heaven? That's the man of God. Right. Living his word. Right. But you actually got to be doing it now. Yeah. Because watch this. 
give me, give me uh, James 1 and 22. See, because we think everything is just talking. No, you got to show. Because when you love somebody, you don't just say, I love you, man. What do you do? To sh what do you do? Put it in action. Read. James chapter 1 and verse 22. Bring it out. But be ye doers of the word. No, I can just I can just listen to the word. But be ye doers of the word. No, I don't got to do nothing. But be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only. So, you listening to me, bringing out the scriptures to you. Now, you got to do it. That's right. You listening? Yeah, that's cool. But now you got to take it to the next level. Now you got to do it. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, it's two people in this world. People that's going to just sit and listen and people that's going to do. Which one are you? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.